Oh, there's a body. Elizabeth, if you ever see this, I am really fucking sorry for scaring you. Are they gonna start? Kinda? Let's listen. I know there's a bunch of cars. There weren't any cars. And it was just nature. It was just birds. It's nature. And now it's dead. Alright. So this is the new book. We're not going to be able to print it. Oh my god, look at that yellow! Fuck yes! Well, hello everybody. I guess I'll do one of these real quick so you can see me. But we're gonna do more of this. Um, I just needed to get out of my fucking apartment. No, I've been um, really busting my ass the last few days. Um, doing all of the they cut a bunch of the stuff down and shit. Oh, there's a body. Getting the new chapbook done, fixing the Etsy shop, doing all of the fucking shit for, um, like I have like some bank account shit I had to take care of. I had to fix some stuff with my AdSense account. <sighs> um, for those of you, who know about the lawyer story about my film rights. I had to, second week in a row, I had to meet the lawyer at the crack of dawn to sign papers and hand over contracts. So that was fucking amazing. Hello. So I just, I feel like I've been going like nonstop for the last, I don't know, two weeks, which is okay since for the last six months I was going very much stop. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm fucking exhausted. All I want to do is get on the road, get on a beach, and just fucking chill the fuck out and type. Um, I know I'm probably speaking to the choir there for a lot of us, but man, they need to cut the fucking grass. This is disgusting. Anyway, I'm just fucking done. I feel like I already moved away in my mind. And so I'm just kind of going through the motions now. Um, it's probably very similar to um, senioritis, like, that senior year of high school when you're just like fucking done and you don't really fucking want to do anything or like the you know like that Friday before a holiday weekend and you're like going to the bank and you're going to fucking um 
you know, just doing whatever the fuck it is you need to do, and all the workers, like, just don't give a fuck, and are, like, doing whatever the fuck they want, that's how I feel right now, so, I don't know, so I'm gonna, I got my computer, the funny thing is, I was gonna just go and not do any work, and, um, then as I was getting me like I picked up the Bukowski book I'm reading and I got my bag in case I like go somewhere and like buy some shit or do whatever and then I'm like oh I should take my computer you know in case I want to write or like you know make a video or put together another chat book and it's just like fuck I can't get away from it so I have my fucking computer with me and I'm probably gonna go fucking do that um I'm gonna be by the place I got my pedicure. I wonder if Sarah is there. I should make an appointment. Because this little piggy needs to calm the fuck down. For real. So I hope you're enjoying the view of Wesley. I hope you're enjoying the view of downtown. And I hope you're enjoying the view of Koreatown. What I really should do, I keep wanting to go to Filipino town to go to this place called Dollar Hits. That's like um, street food. But they're they close so fucking early. And I'm usually never up and around enough by the time they do what they're doing. So, I don't know. I've been wanting to do that. I'm going to get some quack quack. That's about three major blocks up from me. I could probably do that. I don't know if I'll do it today. But if I don't do it today, when will I ever do it, you know? All right, we'll see. God, I'm fucking hungry shit up here today. Boy, I should probably finish my cigarette before I go anywhere. There's a man laying on the ground over there. got a thing in the mail from them. I didn't know they made like chow mein and shit like that. They actually do a bunch of stuff besides chicken. And there's the pupusa place that I went to. Um, what else is around here? Let's go. I've never been in here. I've lived here for almost three years now. I've never been to this place. What do they have? A lot of shrimp. I'm in a seafood place. Look at that. Okay, let's get some cigarettes. Another beautiful day in Los Angeles. <laughs> oh my fucking god, right? I'm gonna try to jam across the street real quick. Yeah, I'll just keep going down there. That's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, so those are all of the things that are happening for the most part. What is that place? Oh, just like a clothing place it is? Or, I don't know. Like, I'm just feeling that I'm done. I mean, fuck. Let's see. Oh, 
but yeah, <clears throat> so I was talking to a friend last night and the thing that came up was that, sorry about that shakiness guys, is that, oh, squirrel. God, I am so fucking ADD. This is stupid. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. No, the thing that came up is, is that even when I'm in my like dark depression and can't do anything, I still am like pretty much working nonstop. You know, I'm not working well, I'm not doing good, but I am just still going like a hundred miles an hour. Not very productively, but I just, I, I just want to fucking relax, man. It's a nice little park. I don't know. I just, I feel like I can't do it. You know? So it would be nice to eventually be able to relax one day. I want to retire. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Retire, what is that? That guy is going, dude. Oh, slamming his cup. He's ready. Well, he just got a really good shot, so he's okay. And there's Starbucks here on 6th and Occidental. Fantastic. In the giant history of me making an ass of myself, I totally did it again. 100% did it again. So, today's story starts off a lot like most others. <laughs> I was at Starbucks. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I should just stop going there. <sighs> I was at Starbucks. Um, thank you, Lauren, for the gift card. Very nice. Very sweet. Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try some stuff out. So I got just like a normal Americano as per usual. And then I tried their um, chicken maple sandwich, breakfast sandwich thing. I don't know if she just overcooked it or what, but it was fucking gross. It smelled so good and it was chewy as fuck. It was just awful. It was so bad. The super cool, like, edgy seamster employees there had music on. I was planning on getting some writing done. I had my computer open and the music was so loud. Here's old man screaming at clouds, ready? The music was so loud I couldn't concentrate on anything because all the music sounded like Joy Division, but it wasn't Joy Division, okay? It was some other band. Um, I think, honestly, they were a Russian band. I shazammed a couple of the tracks. They're pretty good. So I decided I wasn't gonna get any writing done and whatever. This woman comes in and she orders her coffee and then is waiting for it. This is what was very strange. There was absolutely nothing overly remarkable about this woman. She just had this, I don't know, like pleasantness about her. I don't know. So I was just staring at her, like I couldn't help it. I wasn't checking her out, I wasn't being weird. 
I was just staring at her. She looked at me a couple times, sat at the table across from me, facing me. So I'm sitting there with my coffee. I shut my laptop, put my laptop away. She's sitting there. Um, she like ate something and was drinking a cup of coffee or something. I was thinking, I'm like, she just seems really nice. Like, should I go talk to her? Like, I'm like contemplating this. Okay. I was doing this for a long time, apparently. And then suddenly I realize that she's looking at me with like a shocked look on her face. Like something like that. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> so she looks kind of shocked and terrified. <laughs> and it like jarred me out of me like daydreaming about going up and just saying hi to her. And then I didn't know what to do, so I just got my shit and I left. I'm feeling awful. I didn't mean to scare the shit out of anybody. Elizabeth, if you ever see this, I am really fucking sorry for scaring you. I was completely out of it and daydreaming about saying hello to you. And I apologize if the sight of me staring at you like a maniac <laughs> ruins your fucking coffee. Oh my God, what a dumbass. Oh, the things I fucking do, guys. So stupid. Why do I do the things I do? So what I have decided to do is make the 30 minute walk from Starbucks into Filipino town so I could get some of that barbecue. Hey, I wasn't gonna do this, but I passed so many of them. So this kind of apartment building right here, this is very much LA, like in between like the late 40s and 60s. These are called dingbats where you have like the apartment come out and then like a parking thing underneath. And they're called that, you can't really see it on this one over here, but they have like, like the name of the building, like on some kind of thing coming out the side. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that. I should have been taking pictures of all these, but I just didn't notice it at the time. So that one is called Pool Patio. I don't know, but they normally have like a bunch of like dingbats like you have on your fonts. That's where it came from um, on the side of the building. So those were very, very popular here. And then um, they're kind of illegal now, um, like new ones at least, because um, during earthquakes, they're not very stable. And so all the ones that are still around had to be retrofitted and that costs a lot. So a lot of people who owned those buildings, even though a lot of them, um, like the ones that are still around, I believe most of them are historic now. So you can't tear them down even if you wanted to. They tore a bunch of them down, but they're all over LA. Super cool, super kitsch. If you're into mid-century modern architecture, as I. And one of the things that they did is kind of alleviate a lot of the parking problems because you're parking under your apartment. But um, I don't know, like if they brought those back, it would be very helpful. But at the same time, I don't know how many floors you could do. And most apartment buildings that are getting made around here are at least eight. So, I don't know if it would actually work. But anyway, so I didn't have the camera on, but I just went to Tito Lima's, um, which actually looks really fucking good, but it's like a lot of food. And because I ate that sandwich earlier, um, I'd rather just have some sticks of street food or some shit. So we are going to find out and maybe I will go back there in a little bit. So let's go into Dollar Hits and see what they got. Okay, Dad. I'm 
fish uh, synagogue. I got some sea sig. I think it's beef. And then I got pork menudo and um, a sausage and then something that I thought was lumpia, but it's like a dessert. So I don't know what it is. It's pretty good. It's super sweet. So that was kind of nice. channel know the struggle today could be street sweeping day but it's also the day after Easter and I wasn't sure they were gonna come today because again it's East it, it's the day after Easter and normally their holidays fall on the day after the weekend so I've been taking my sweet ass time I'm like an hour after the time you're supposed to leave and shit and I'm just like kind of like cruising, like all slow. And then I fucking, as soon as I got in my car, the street sweeper came and um, I couldn't see the parking cop. So I just got in my car and fucking hightailed it. So I have a ton of stuff to ship. I can't wait to show you guys all of it. So thank you for all the orders. You guys are amazing. Oh my God, that whole school is gone. Oh my God. The. Okay, right here there used to be a uh, school. Um, can I park here? Is that what's happening or no? I don't fucking know what's going on. Um, holy shit. I cannot believe that whole building is gone. Wow. Can I park there? No, okay. I'm gonna level with you guys. This might be a little tricky. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. Oh, well definitely not now because there's a bus. Oh, you piece of shit. building here, or the Bullock building. This right here used to be a giant building full of like um, shops that were closed down. They weren't open, but behind that was a school, like a Korean school. And it's all gone. Here. Was not expecting that at all. Um, I guess that happens. I mean, this lot has been a lot ever since I've been here, but it's just... I don't know. It's crazy. I just was not expecting that. I was expecting to park right there because I would park right in front every time I came to this post office. But I haven't been to this post office in about a month. No. There's a vlog of me walking through right there. So, like, maybe two weeks. It's been since I've been here. So, yeah, so these are all the packages. So, I'm pretty stoked. A lot of stuff to ship. There's a lot of little ones down on the side there too. All sorts of fun stuff. Wow, that building is beautiful. I can't believe that other one's gone. Yeah. Such a trip. It's a very sad day. Okay, so just so you guys know, I found a mango man. I'm super stoked. It's gonna be 10 bucks. So 
but I need cash. So I'm gonna go into roll call, I think, because I did want the katsu chicken. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let me get some change and go do that. So yeah, so this just got here and it looks fucking delicious. This is all I wanted and here we are. So this is gonna be great. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I <laughs> I didn't film it for some fucking reason. Um, it, it, the reason was because there were cops around, and it's a long story, but the cops were fucking with the mango guy. I don't know how much footage I actually have, but um, like, I don't want to draw any, any fucking attention to me from the fucking cops, so... Um, I just went and got my cup and then fucking left. But it was full... And I've been eating it, and I forgot to record any of it. So there's still a little bit of chamoy down at the bottom, and there was, uh, I just got mango, pineapple, and watermelon. So um, it's been delicious. Um, he went really easy on the chamoy and the tahini, so I was a little eh, but um, he had bigger things to fucking worry about than my fucking fruit cup. So I don't blame him. And he did kind of a bad job peeling the mango. Okay, so that's a mango, that's a mango, that's a pineapple. Oh my fucking god. So fucking good. Last bite. Mango with some skin on it. Ah, that's all hard. Mmm. Can't wait to finish that whole cup. I think it was packed. Oh, fuck me, dude. That was delicious. any of this is okay. and why they did this. Okay, so that's like what you you do. <laughs> so oh this is potato God. salad. Okay. This is kimchi. Okay. This is like a fish cake. Oh, okay. But it's it's like a, it, it, it feels like tofu in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a raw egg that you put into the tofu soup. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is like just a veggie thing. I don't know what it is. Right. This is delicious. Cucumber. And this is like a deep fried sardine, which I'm not in love with. It's okay. Because it only tastes deep fried. And we're like, I can do the thing. What's the thing? Move it here. Is that hot? Is it hot? I can do it. Because I need to break the egg. Oh, yeah, do it. Nicely done. So, I just got back from the goddamn, uh, what do you call it? Pharmacy. It's pouring rain. Oh my god, it's hail! It's bouncing! It is fucking hailing? Oh my god, don't focus on my dirty blinds, guys. Look at the fucking hail. What in the fucking world is going on? What in the climate change is happening? And then look, over there it's sunny. Nope, it's hailing. So I got home just in time. It was starting to rain on me as I was walking back, for members, you saw the live stream of me walking to the um, pharmacy. And now it's almost not raining anymore. Wow, look at that. Are we in Florida? What the fuck just happened? It was pouring rain for like a minute and a half. 
and then it started hailing, and now it's stopping all together. Good effing lord. Anyway, that was fun. Bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.